Okay, guys, now, for the last lesson over here, I have already taught you on the uh, concept of your leaf. Now, for today, I'm going to teach you over here for the concept of pulley. Okay, remember, guys, huh? the first one you studied was about leaf. Now, you're going to study about pulley over here. Now, pulley over here, I will take uh, one simple example first, like, guys. Huh? Now, for an example over here, this is your pulley. Okay. You have over here a five kilogram weight and another one smaller one over here this is over here your two kilogram weight okay now just to remind you over here that this pulley over here is frictionless or we can call it over here a smooth pulley now a smooth pulley means guys you don't have to worry about friction uh, normally over here when you go to university and all that they will definitely consider the value but for now over here an ideal situation smooth pulley guys huh? okay my question is calculate the acceleration of the system okay calculate the acceleration of the system when the weights are released okay so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the acceleration of the system when the weights are released that means this five kilogram and two kilogram guys huh? when we release the weight okay how do we calculate the acceleration? Now, check this thing out, guys. Huh? First, 5 kilogram and 2 kilogram. Let us draw the direction of tension. Now, this arrows over here represents the direction of tension. Let's label this one over here as your T1. And this one over here, we label it as your T2. Okay? Now, next, what we're going to do is, this is the concept which I've taught you all previously, you know, guys. 5 kilogram and 2 kilogram, we'll calculate them separ uh, separately. Yeah? Now, for the 5 kilogram. Now, ask you something. The 5 kilogram and 2 kilogram, the moment you let go, 5 kilogram goes down. 2 kilogram goes up. Correct, guys. Huh? 5 kilogram goes down. 2 kilogram over here goes up. Now, when this happens over here, what we have to do is now, basically our formula never changes. Huh? F equals to MA. This is our formula. Okay? Now, remember, your forces, this fellow F over here is the magnitude of force. If 5 kilogram goes down, it means that over here, Mg minus T equals to over here, Ma. Alright, guys. Remember, 5 kilogram over here goes down, Mg minus T. If it goes up, that means T minus Mg. Lah. Okay? So, 5 kilogram over here mg minus t equals to ma let me substitute the value 5 over here times your gravity 10 okay minus t equals to ma and m is over here put it as 5a so you'll get 50 minus t equals to 5a all right this one over here we label it as equation one okay now next is for the two kilogram okay so for two kilogram okay remember this one is over here this okay this one you watch now the formula over here still the same f equals to ma okay now remember two kilogram is going up if two kilogram is going up that means over here t minus over here mg equals to ma now by the way guys the value for t1 equals to t2 huh? so over here just to remind you t1 equals to t2 because they are using the same row so that's why the value t1 equals to t2 over here so that's the reason i can put the same t's like guys so over here t minus mg equals to ma so your t over here you don't know over here minus your m is over here 2 times 10 equals to m over here 2 a so you'll write it over here as T minus 20 equals to 2A. This is equation number 2. Okay? Now, next over here, equation 1 and equation 2. Now, watch this, guys, carefully. This is actually just mathematics. But let me just rewrite it for you guys. Huh? Watch. Huh? Now, I, if you don't mind, I just want to put the negative T over here in front. If you don't mind. Huh? See, guys. Huh? Negative T, I just want to put it in front. Negative T, the same thing over here. I just kept it in front. Plus... 50 equals to 
0.5A. Now I'm just keeping it like this so it's going to be easier for me later to calculate. Okay, now over here, and I'll just take this as equation one, guys. Eh? I'm trying to make the situation over here a little bit easier. Okay, now over here, check this thing out. Eh? Let's just say equation one plus equation two. Okay, guys, now. When you take equation 1 plus equation 2 over here, what happens is negative t plus with t, you get 0, isn't it? Okay, now negative t plus t, you get 0. Okay, now 50 plus negative 20, you get over here 30. Okay, 50 plus negative 20, you get 30. 5a plus with 2a, so you get over here 7a. So over here, a equals to 30 over 7 ms negative 2 this is how you calculate the acceleration simple uh, guys uh? now let me just recap the whole thing one more time uh, guys uh? some students over here you might find it over here a little bit difficult now check this thing out you have two weights 5 kilogram and 2 kilogram 5 kilogram will go down 2 kilogram over here will go up if it's going down in your mind automatically you remember over here mg minus t okay guys mg over here going down minus t t is over here the unit for force guys okay t is force like tension force is the same thing some of them ask me sir why you don't want to use f sir for rope over here it's good if we use t tension okay so over here mg minus t over here equals to ma so i just substitute the values inside and i got over here an equation all right and then over here for this, for the 2 kilogram, it's going up. When it's going up, your T minus mg. So that's why I've written T minus mg equals to ma. Substitute the values inside. So what I'll do is, guys, I'll get a linear equation, you know. Okay. So over here, simultaneous equation, sorry. I'll get a simultaneous equation. And when I have this two simultaneous equation, basically in mathematics over here, what do you do? You try to over here minus one unknown off. So I minus the tension over here off. Because my question is just to calculate over here acceleration. Okay, so I've taken 1 plus 2, equation 1 plus equation 2. So over here, t plus with negative t, 0 lah. 50 plus with negative 20, you dapat 30 lah. 5a plus 2a, 7a. Plus 2a sama dengan 30 per 7. Siap, selesai.